So I've been asked a lot of times for a review of the made in carbon steel skillet. Let's get to it. So here it is here, the made in blue steel carbon skillet. So I have seasoned this three times in the oven per the instructions that came from Maiden. So they have this really nice little booklet that has the instructions on exactly what to do. It's brilliant. It has got everything you need, works incredibly well, very well thought out, including in the middle of it, it has uh, a infographic on things that can go wrong and what you need to do to improve your skillet. If you're having a rainbow of color, rust spots, spotting, waves of discoloration, when you have these things, it addresses that, which is absolutely fantastic. So kudos to Maiden, you've done an excellent job with your instructions. Uh, the pan on visual inspection, uh, it's a wonderful looking pan. Uh, I, I really like the simplicity of it. It's, it's a lot of what I was expecting. However, when I start kind of getting into it a little bit, at first, I really liked the look of the handle and I felt it's a pretty looking pan, but holding on to the pan, I'm concerned that it's not gonna be comfortable. So I'm, I'm gonna reserve my judgment until I use it, but it's, it's a little bit awkward in the handle. The handle seems a little bit fat for me. It's a little bit fat in my hand uh, and I'm not getting a comfortable, secure grip on it, um, which I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but that's a concern. It's, it definitely became conscious to me when I grabbed it. The other thing was that it's, it's lighter than I expected. I thought it was gonna be thicker. So I'm throwing in the um, Moviel M Cook for a good reason, because these pans are very similar. This is a light pan. This hasn't performed very well for me comparatively to the Debayer. So I'm putting it into this comparison to see how it compares for the lightness because the weight is very similar. So weight and handle is a little bit of a concern to me. I am comparing it in my mind to the Debayer uh, Mineral B. Uh, so we're gonna see how that goes. It may be a completely unfair comp uh, comparison, but you know, really dollar for dollar, these pans are, are very similar. Um, maybe even for me, this is a little bit less expensive on the market in Canada, uh, where I had to buy this in US dollars in Canada and import it. So, um, you know, right now that's apples to apples. I, I am a little bit biased because I know the quality of my mineral B. So, but we're, we're not going to have any bias in this, but this is not a scientific experiment. We're, all we're going to do is put these three on the hob. We're going to cook some onions, saute them, and I'm just going to see how they do. Uh, it's going to be my choice if they taste good, if they've got good texture and which pan did what job. Uh, so let's get that done. Okay. So we've got all three pans on here and I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of grapeseed oil in each pan. So just so we're clear here on my left, we have the made in pan in the middle. We have the M Cook Moviel, and on my right is the Debayer Mineral B. So we've got a quarter teaspoon of grapeseed. We've got half a cup of evenly chopped onions per. All right. So those are in. Okay, and we're gonna let those start to warm up a little bit and uh, see how they start to cook. So first grab, you know, the, the handle, not as bad as I kind of thought it was. You, you kind of go under it with your hand like that, thumb in the little divot here. It's not bad, I don't love it. I find the shape of both of these pans, the Moviel and the Debayer that are pretty much identical. Um, they're, they're, they're rounded uh, that way where the, the, the blue steel, sorry, the made in is quite flat. So I find them just a little bit more comfortable. So anyways, we're gonna let those guys sit and cook away and uh, we will check in in a minute. Okay, so I've had them on the hob for about seven or eight minutes. 
and they've all uh, pretty evenly cooked. Visually, things are looking similar. Uh, I wouldn't say that things are much different between them. Um, there might be a tiny bit more browning in the Maiden and the Movial, maybe. Um, but we'll, we'll see. That, that what I'm looking for is how did they cook through? Are they cooked nice and evenly? Is there quite a lot of body to them? Do they still have some moisture in them? Or did they just get kind of crispy and, and fried up? So, um, and, and what will happen if they are kind of crispy and fried up? You get a lot of heat transfer, direct heat transfer over the same amount of time. So anyway, let's try that out. The mineral B, as expected, as it always is. Equal, everything's smooth, lots of body, lots of flavor. Um, I've salted them a little bit. Um, yeah, and very nicely done onions that would be perfect for any dish. So the Movial. Very similar. Maybe a, maybe a tiny bit more um, uh, uncooked. A little bit more body to them. Mm. So tiny of a difference between the two. So the made in. Hmm. Quite a bit drier. Quite a bit more kind of cooked through. And not equal, not even. So there's bits of the onion that were like really quite cooked and dried out. So they're like dried onion in your mouth over little pockets of moisture in the middle of each one with a nice even consistency. So overcooked is the problem. So those should have come off the heat already. Surprisingly, the M cook um, cooked as evenly and as well as the Dubai. So that's really surprising to me. Um, so it, it's interesting, you know, I'll show you here visually. So the Maiden has little dried bits in it and it's not very even or consistent, it's not super tasty in the mouth. Um, however, the M cook and the Mineral B performed really well. I think we were in the kind of heat pocket, the right sort of space for cooking with a lighter pan like the Movial. Uh, and the Debayer, um, of course, performed really, really well. So, you know, this is only one test. This is the first test and my first impression. Um, so if I was going to grade it out of three, three pans, three grades, this is going to get a bronze medal. It's going to come in third. So I'm a little bit di di disappointed. I thought it was going to perform as well as the M cook. I thought these guys were going to be very similar and whatever results were going to be the same, but it was actually a, a, a lower seemingly quality than the M cook that is much lighter than the mineral B. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't really think I've got a lot of value out of this pan comparatively for the money for other pans that are on the market. Uh, I would go for something heavier. Um, I really don't find the handle overly comfortable. That's more of a negative to me. And so, you know, I, I'm kind of at a, at a bit of a fail. I, I'm not super happy. This isn't gonna be a pan I'm gonna keep around. Um, you know, it's not a bad pan, but it's not like it's a valued pan. It's not like it's a good deal. Uh, it just seems to be all hot and, and people are talking about it because they're putting a lot of money into, into marketing, but I'm not a super big fan. So I would spend, you know, the same amount of money and get a mineral B. Like there's no comparison. This, these, these two pans just aren't even in the same category. Um, but even really surprisingly, the, the, as I was saying, the M-Cook that I don't absolutely love, it performed really, really well in this, uh, in this experiment um, over the, uh, the Maiden. So final thoughts on 
the made in blue steel carbon skillet. Uh, I compared it to the Movial and I compared it to the Debayer uh, Mineral B. Uh, as I said before, it's not really a very fair comparison because of the weight difference. This is a, a higher quality pan, just straight up. So that's why I was really more comparing these two, the Movial and the Made In. Um, but what I ended up finding was that the Made In really didn't hold up to the quality of cooking. So I found that when I cooked with them, this did a better job. The Movial and the Made In was not as good. Uh, also, same as uh, the Movial, I find that the heat transfer is more direct and I season this pan perfectly as per instructions and I've done enough pans to know what a good seasoning and bad season is. Season looked pretty good when I got it on there and the seasoning degraded on its first wash. So it needed more, definitely more layers on it to build up something that maybe isn't gonna peel off, but that's starting to degrade and that's just gonna create problems in a hassle. So I would not recommend this pan. I don't think it's worth the money personally. Uh, I would choose a Moviel before the Maiden and I would definitely 110% buy a Mineral B um, by Debayer. Uh, I also find that the cost is very much the same, so why wouldn't you just buy a Mineral B? So that is my take on the Maiden Blue Steel.